Hey guys, it's Albert from Muffin Group. I'm really excited to present a feature that is a real game changer in WordPress industry. So far, this feature was available for the most advanced website builders on the market, but from now on, it becomes with the B Builder by default. Global styles, as what this video tutorial is all about. Within this feature, we've added in version 28, you can easily save current styles and use them later anywhere. If you decide later to change style, it would change everywhere you set it up. I know many of you have been eagerly waiting for this feature, so let's not waste the time on this introduction and let's jump to my screen. Global Styles feature is located under Settings at the very top and is available for sections, wraps and elements. Don't be fooled by the size of this option in B-Builder, because it is truly a powerful feature that redefines the creation of websites, stores or whatever else you can dream of. I will explain this feature based on the element, but like said, it's also available for wraps and sections. Let's start from explaining the icons next to this feature. First one is toggle description, so it's the same one as for any other element. After clicking it, you get quick explanation of what this option is. Except that you have two links here for the videos. First video is quick introduction explaining what is this feature, but the second one is link for the detailed tutorial you're watching right now. Second one is add new global style icon. By clicking this option, pop-up pops up with all styles that we've changed in the element listed for the one we are actually editing. Let's close this pop-up and focus on the third icon for global styles field, which is show list icon. By clicking this one, pop-up pops up again, but this time with the list of already saved global styles for elements, wraps or sections. Let's close this pop-up for now, as I will explain this further later and move to element customization. Let's switch to the style tab. I already have some styling applied for this icon box element, like padding, background, border and many other, as I didn't want it to waste the time on styling during this tutorial. So as we have icon box styled already, let's click add new global style plus icon, where all the magic happens. As mentioned before, what you actually see in pop-up is a list of all styles we've applied for this specific icon box element we are working on right now. Next to each style, you have checkbox, so you can easily check or uncheck specific style that you would like to add or remove from the global style. At the bottom of this pop-up is field where you can type the name for this global style. Let's type the name then and save it. As soon as we do this, you will notice that this global style we just created have been automatically applied to the element. It's this purple pill with the name we just set. The other thing you probably noticed is that the styling like padding, background, border, etc. from now on are purple color as well. It means nothing but tells you that these values comes from the global style connected to this icon box element. Let's open the other tabs for this element so you can see that values are purple color everywhere we set styling for this global style. Now, if we switch between devices, you will see that all values are purple because they are inherited from global style connected to the element. But if you will take, for example, top padding and change it to 60 pixels for desktop, the value became white color for the desktop because local values are always more important than those from global styles. And if you switch now to the laptop, value is green color, what means it's being inherited from the local value we just set for the desktop, but also we didn't set the value for this field for global style. Thanks to this feature, you will always know what value applies to a given field relative to the screen size. If you want to detach local value, just remove it and purple value from global style will appear as placeholder for attribute. Let's now switch to the tablet and here the situation is different. We can see that the value 
It's not 60 pixels from the local style, but 15 pixels, because it is pulled from the global style instead. Unlike the laptop, we changed it there for this specific global style. I hope everything has been clear so far. If I missed anything, feel free to ask in the comments and I will be happy to answer all your questions. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Okay, now let's move on to editing the global style by clicking the pencil icon located right next to the name of our global style. After clicking the icon, the sidebar became purple so you know that you are in global style editing mode. By switching between tabs, we can preview the values for this global style and modify them if needed. Once changed, it will be applied everywhere this specific global style is used. It's worth mentioning that this specific global style was created for this particular element, which is the icon box. It can then be applied anywhere on the page, but only to elements of the same type, in this case, the icon box. The same principle applies to wraps and sections now, let's assign our global style to the remaining icon box elements. But first, let me reset the styles for the other three icon boxes with the help of the right mouse button option. To apply the global style we created to the remaining icon boxes, we need to edit each one and then, by clicking the icon next to the Choose Style label, select the global style we created, which in this case is my icon box. As you can see, the styles are applied instantly. Let's repeat this process for the remaining two elements. And just like that, using this simple and quick method, we start the remaining three elements in a blink of an eye. At this point, I need to mention that when creating or attaching a style, a box appears below with relevant information indicating that this element is using a global style. From now on, after applying the global style to all three remaining elements, Whenever we start styling any of them, we will see that the values are displayed in purple color. As I mentioned earlier, this means that these values are being pulled from the global style. Now, let's move on to editing our global style. Go to the Style tab and change the background color value for the icon wrapper, for example, to orange. As you can see, the color has changed for all elements where this global style is applied. The same applies to changing any other values, such as padding, width, height, etc. After pressing the Update Style button or using Command or Ctrl Plus as shortcut, our changes will be saved for this global style and we will be automatically exited from its editing mode. Now let's move on to the list of global styles. This section contains all the global styles for all elements, wraps and sections grouped by type. On the left side, we have the element name followed by the name of the declared style, which we can change by clicking the rename icon that appears when hovering over the style name. It's worth noting that when you rename a global style, it will be updated in every element where it has been used. So. Let's rename our created style, for example, by adding new at the end. Now, let's go to the element where we previously applied this global style. And as you can see, the style name assigned to the element is exactly we just changed it to, my icon box new. Additionally, the class name and the database is also visible, which can be inspected in the page source. Uh, it's an option for geeks who, for some reason, need to find the style name in the code as well. Furthermore, we can duplicate global style by clicking the clone icon and then edit the styles for the duplicated version. Uh, a perfect use case for this is when we need, for example, three different button styles. In such case, we can duplicate a style, modify its colors, and then assign different styles to specific buttons on the page. Moreover, we can delete a global style from this section. Once removed, it will automatically be detached from every element, wrap or section where it was previously applied. You've probably noticed one more thing and pop up with list of global styles that I haven't mentioned yet. Yes, 
the search field in the top right corner. It's perfect when you have multiple global styles for different elements. You can quickly and easily search by element's name or the custom name you've assigned to a specific style. This will definitely speed up the workflow for many of you. At the very end of this tutorial, I would like to show you how fast style rendering works when detaching and reattaching them. No lags, lightning fast, and most importantly, everything happens in real time. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you liked this video. And from now on, your workflow with BeBuilder will boost significantly. If you like this video, I encourage you to watch another video where I explain one of the most powerful beefing features, templates. And as always, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.